Thanks, Michaela. Yeah. <laughs> She's getting better. She's getting better. Um, you know, so a so couple things is uh, we've been in this office now for 18 years, and I've had uh, the amazing pleasure just starting to understand the last 18 years, uh, the word toxicity and toxic chemicals and the amount of things that we're exposed to is just like, it's exponential. I mean, it's, it's getting worse and worse and worse. And so really two things that I want you to walk away from today is number one is that how can you make your body so strong that it can, uh, that it can deal with toxins differently than the person sitting next to you. Have you guys ever wondered that? Like, why can two people be exposed to the same toxins and like one have a problem and one doesn't have a problem, right? So I'm gonna help you guys understand how to build your body up, make it strong. So those of you that are patients, um, why is it important for your nerve system to work at the highest level if you're gonna be exposed to toxins? Why is it, why is it important for your body to work like this? It can fight it off, right? I mean, flat out, it can fight it off. Like, and I don't care what you are. If you're, if you're, a, if, if you're a smoker, would you rather your body be working at 100% nerve function or 80% for nerve function, right? So no matter what you do, you always want to be at 100%. So that's number one is we want to help you guys understand is how to get the body so strong. Number two, though, is that if you can eliminate your exposure to certain toxins, then that's what I want to make sure that you guys are able to understand. So if you're a guest here, um, you know, enjoy the class. There's no charge for it. I am going to give you opportunities. Uh, if you're a guest or a patient, uh, we have supplements, we have testing. I'm going to talk about some of these things. I'm also going to give you guys a, a, a lot of resources for you before you guys leave here. I've got a few QR codes up here that will give you links to certain sites that will help you out. Um, I've got, you've got handouts in front of you that will help you as well. Um, and if, but if you're, if you're a guest here, I'm going to give you an opportunity to get a reduced charge uh, a visit to come to our office uh, to get your whole spine checked up to make sure your nervous system is working at 100%. So um, I love this. This is, uh, this is me speaking at a seminar last year. Um, and nothing I love doing better than this is I, I love making people laugh and I love telling stories. And, uh, but I, I don't know if you guys know my story. I was really bad. I had really bad asthma and allergies when I was seven years old. My mom rushed me to the hospital. They inject me with something. And the problem was is that the, the, um, they sent me home with one of those inhalers. You guys know all medicines come with what? They're toxins, right? They're toxins too. They have side effects to it. The side effect of the inhaler was is it started causing headaches. So when I was 12, my mom took me back to the doctor and the doctor, of course, said, oh, just give him Tylenol and aspirin. Well, guess what the Tylenol and aspirin did to my stomach? ate a hole in my stomach. I started having stomach ulcers when I was 17 years old. And so finally, when I was, um, uh, they put me on ulcer medications that threw off my digestive system. So finally, when I was 21 years old, I went to University of Iowa. I was my third year of pre-med. I was going to become a medical doctor. I wanted to help people. And my academic advisor said to me, she goes, hey, you should go see my chiropractor. And I thought she was crazy because I thought chiropractic was only about neck pain and back pain. I had no clue. And, uh, and she says, listen, she goes, 99% of chiropractors work with neck pain and back pain. They're pretty good with it but 1% work with the healing power that God put inside your body. Your body was designed to heal itself and designed to work a certain way. And if it's not, something's blocking that healing. And, uh, and so, I, so I went and I started getting adjusted. Within about three months, I came off all four of my medications. Haven't taken another one of those medications in 27 years. Um, but I will tell you that every year that goes by as I get adjusted, so this is some of you guys that are patients have been here. Some of you guys have been here for over 10 years. Uh, we just had patients in here a little bit ago that have been here for 18 years. Uh, did you guys see the, the patient with the two little dogs? Did some of you guys see that? They've been here for over 18 years. Like, um, and their stories are unbelievable. Like her dad was a pastor. I, I spoke at his, his church and she came up to me at the end and she says, I think you can help me with my asthma and allergies. And I adjusted her. The first time I adjusted her, she was 25 years old. She had 75% nerve damage in her ear and was wearing a hearing aid. At her first adjustment, she removed her hearing aid and hasn't worn her hearing aid in, in 18 years. Like, so it's amazing when you get the body working, how God designed the body. The body's designed to be able to heal itself. Um, can you guys, if you guys can't handle gory stuff, close your eyes at this next one. Uh, this was last year for me. Uh, hold on. This, yeah, this was last year for me. Um, I had a spider bite. Oh, no. I had a spider bite. You guys know brown recluse spiders? No. Um, have you ever seen one? I've never seen one to this day. I still don't know what they look like. And so they're creepy. And you know what's crazy about it is their venom. It actually has, it's an analgesic, which means that it, you can't feel it when it bites you. Exactly. You don't know what happened. So I have no clue where this happened. It kind of felt like an ingrown hair in my leg. And I had no clue what was going on. Then all of a sudden, you can see the process of this thing from up there on the left all the way down, how it's just started eating a hole in my leg. And so there's massive amounts of toxins in their venom. And the thing is, is that people were asking me, what are you going to do? Are you going to go to the hospital? And my, my question was, as long as it's not infected, 
my body knows how to deal with toxins as long as I'm taking care of my body. So I was getting adjusted on a regular basis. I was feeding it all the vitamins and nutrients and supplements that I needed. And I wanted to make sure that my body was able to heal from the inside all the time, all along. The only thing I was worried about was that, is it going to get infected along the way? And so I kept it clean. I didn't put any medicines on it. We used Manuka honey, which is high medicinal value. It's a high level uh, Manuka honey. If you use that, it's a, that's what vets use when there's an injury in a horse or something like that. They just pack the wound with, with Manuka honey so it doesn't get infected. But what the key is, is that as my body started fighting that, what you see over here on the left is I was doing calls one day. I, I do all my calls standing up at home for, for uh, consulting with chiropractors. But what it was doing is it was actually pushing the garbage out and see what, where if I would have went medically, what they would have tried to tell me is they would have tried to say, keep it in there, right? Keep it in there, pack it up, keep it in there. And they would have gave me medicines for, they probably would have gave me antibiotics, which would have done nothing but do what? Destroy my gut, which destroys my immune system and destroys my body's own ability to be able to fight for itself. And when people see this, they're like, uh, even one of my friends that his, uh, his wife, his new wife is a um, ER nurse. And she's like, there's no way this is going to heal on its own. And we saw her uh, six months later and she's like, I got to see this thing. And so every time I see them, I have to um, wear shorts for her and show, and show her this wound and how God designed this thing to actually be able to heal. So your body knows how to fight things. It actually knows how to fight things that you don't even know are inside your body. That's what's so amazing. And that's what I'm going to talk about today. And so there's our great team. Our mission is getting people healthy and free of meds, keeping families healthy through holistic living, the way God designed the body through chiropractic and max living. Um, there's our team. And now we have to add Dr. Perez on this as well. So we got to, we got to, well, I'll draw you in there on the next one. I'll put a stick figure of you on the next one. So um, what's cool about this team is that they will do anything for you guys. If you guys need any resources, if you guys need any help, if you need rescheduling, whatever it is, they, they will help you connect with what you need to connect with. Um, they all have personal stories. They all get adjusted on a regular basis. They all take their supplements. They do their home stuff. So they, they live their patients first. And what I, that's what I love about our team is that they are com committed to you guys at 100%. Um, about 18 years ago, when I first opened this up, I got another story. It's actually um, a guy that I, I told you guys about that I know from your church that used to be on the radio. I used to be on the radio out at Victory Christian. And the guy that I knew, one of the de morning DJs out there, um, his son, I met him and his wife. Um, actually, at the, it's fun because we, we have four girls. He's got four boys. And so we've kind of just had this whole life pattern together and everything like that. And, uh, but when I met Zoe and Melita, um, what was pretty fascinating to me is that uh, Melita said, hey, my son, that they have four now, but this is the oldest. My son was developing perfectly. He was able to read. He was able to say his ABCD, ABCDs, all this kind of stuff, one, two, threes, all this stuff. Then he got uh, one of his stages of vaccines. And when he got the vaccine, he started digressing, started going backwards and started becoming labeled as autistic and started having all these problems. So his mom, of course, starts doing all this research on the internet and saying, oh, this is linked to toxicities and somehow. And this is gut stuff, this is toxicity stuff, this is all this stuff. And so she went on her own and started diving deep into how do I detox my son? How do I get my body? And so she started doing all these like herbal remedies, these teas, these, all these special massages, all these things. And the son actually got a little bit better, but she was like, we're just, we're so something's just missing. And it was when um, Earth Fair had just opened up down in, down in Ballantyne, so this is years ago. And uh, um, I had uh, set up a booth at Earth Fair that I actually did posture checks at Earth Fair um, for years over there. And I met Belita that day and, and I said, do you realize the one thing that your son's missing is you don't know how his body's detoxing from the inside. There's a nerve system issue in here. And they came in, sure enough, her son at like four years old had a curve. You're supposed to have a curve in your neck like this. His curve was completely gone in his cervical spine. And I said, the missing link that you have is what's going on with the nerve system up here at the top. So we've got to make sure that that nerve system is working well. We started adjusting this kid. He was able to start to read. He was able to start to do all his ABC. Everything started going, progressing even faster in the right direction. So what I want to teach you guys today is yes, how do we get the nerve system working well, but how do you do all the other things to make sure that the whole body's healing the way that it's supposed to? Um, I like to start here, three T's, traumas, thoughts, and toxins. People ask me all the time, how does your nerve system get to the spot that it's at? So there's traumas, which are physical things. Those are car accidents, slips and falls. What else do you think we're doing to our spines to cause stress to our spine these days, physically? Text neck, yep. Text neck, lifting stuff, car accidents, slips and falls, all those things, right? Okay. Then you've got 
Then you got um, uh, uh, toxins, okay, which is what we're going to talk about today. Toxins, we're exposed to toxins. Where do you guys think toxins are coming from more commonly these days for everybody? It's everywhere. It's air. It's in our food. It's in our water. It's as you drink your water. Sorry. Yeah, it's in our water. It's in our. It is. Good girl. Straight from the hose is how we used to do it as kids, right? So, yeah. And then you got, of course, you got thoughts, emotional stress. And so there's a lot of pieces, emotional stress, uh, the best way for me to describe emotional stress and what it does to somebody's posture or nerve system. If you've ever seen a kid yell that as a little kid, you're never going to mount any good. You're no good. You're no good. How do they walk around? Not like this, do they? They walk around like this. Okay. So emotional stress affects our posture, our body. So we're going to tackle the T, the toxins today is the big one. So do you guys know that you're exposed to over 700,000 toxic chemicals every single day? We are all, uh, that's on average, some people up to 1.2 million, obviously, depending on where you work, more than likely her husband working in the fire department, he's probably exposed to more than most of us, right? Um, in the last three years, do you guys think we were exposed to more uh, toxic chemicals or less? Yeah. What happened in the last three years? <laughs> COVID. And what did they start doing? They started scrubbing everything. They started spraying everything. They started trying to inject things in your arms. They tried to uh, force you to wear a mask everywhere, which had chemicals that you were constantly breathing. So we were exposed to a lot of chemicals in the last three years in a massive way. EWG is going to be a website I'm going to show you guys. It's, it's Environmental Working Group. They're a nonprofit. I, I, actually, I don't know if they're a nonprofit. I think they're a nonprofit. Are they a nonprofit? Effort that for me, please. And so what they do is they actually pump out a bunch of great knowledge about like what the dirty foods are, what the toxic foods are, what the toxic chemicals are. So I'm going to read, I'm going to, I'm going to actually give you guys a couple QR codes for them here in a little bit, but they did a study on nine adults, none of whom who worked in industries that would expose them to high levels of environmental toxins and poisons. All were tested for 210 con contaminants. And what they found is the average of, of that every single person had 91 different contaminants in their body at any time. So out of 210, yes, nonprofit? Yeah, good. Um, so, and so what happens is, is that you're exposed to tons of chemicals on a regular basis, whether you work in industry. Uh, of those chemicals, 53 were linked to cancer. 63 compounds were linked to CNS and brain issues. Uh, 58 compounds were in, uh, linked to endocrine system. Endocrine is hormones, right, system. And then a, a 55%, uh, 55 of the compounds in it affect the immune system. Okay, so uh, do you guys think we have a lot of immune system issues these days? Yeah. yeah, look around us, right? How about thyroid issues? Everywhere. Digestive system issues? Everywhere. How about uh, neurological issues? We're seeing these like crazy as well. So we're being exposed to these things on a high rate. And so what exactly is a toxin? It's substance or chemical that encounters in our day-to-day -day life that can cause damage to humans, whether it's immediate or over time. Now, here, I always go to common sense. My, my, um, my, uh, 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 a diagnosis teacher at, at Palmer. Um, he was actually, uh, he was supposed to be one of the worst teachers that was supposed to be there. But what I loved about him is he said, I'm going to teach you how to think for yourself. Okay. So think for yourself for a second. When God designed our bodies, do you think he knew that we'd be exposed to toxins and chemicals over the course of our lifetime? Of course he did. Right. So he put in systems in place for our bodies to be able to fight these things and be able to deal with these things on a regular day to day basis. The thing is though, is that with these substances or chemicals that are, we encounter on a day to day basis, we are making more and more toxins now than we ever have on the history of the planet. They're being, and, and, the, and the reason why, somebody said to me this, said this to me the other day, well, if you can't, if you can make healthier water, why wouldn't you just make healthier water? Well, what do you guys think the, what do you guys think the answer is? What is it? Money. Yeah, hundred percent. It's always going to be about money. Yeah. Always about money, right? I heard an interview yesterday on Joe Rogan. The guy's like, uh, Joe goes, Hey, why can't we just, uh, take salt water and make it in water. He's like, we can. And he goes, well, why don't we? Well, because it takes energy to make salt water into clean water for drinking. And so guess what that takes? It takes more money. He says, it's cheaper for us to put it in a plastic bottle from Fiji and ship it across the, uh, the world to get it here than it does for us to make that in there. Okay. So that's where that's, you've got to always follow the money when it starts to come down the stuff with toxins. Again, back to where, um, I like to use the bucket theory. The cells of your body are like buckets. Some people's cells can handle exposure to lots of toxins. Some of you guys, your buckets are bigger. Kind of imagine it this way. Some of your cells can take more toxic load than others. And if the, if the, if the bucket is bigger and it can handle more toxins, if it doesn't overflow, there's no um, symptoms that come with it. So your body can actually handle it. So there's two pieces to it. Some people's buckets are bigger 
and some people's buckets can actually dump out the garbage faster, okay? So think about once the, once the bucket starts to fill up, if my body has a metabolism or an ability to be able to detox itself and get rid of the garbage faster, then you can have small buckets as long as you're getting rid of it faster, but it's a combination of the two is what it is. Everybody's cells are different. Everybody functions differently. And when you have your cells, your cells are either can only handle so much. And once they become super toxic or over, overloaded, now all of a sudden it overflows. And that's when you start to have symptoms that come from that. Does that make sense? And that overflowing actually goes into the um, digestive gut, uh, the organs, the digestive system. You, it starts to cause leaky gut. It starts to cause all kinds of gut issues. Um, it starts to cause GI issues, overeating, because if you have, if your gut can't absorb nutrients, then your body is craving nutrients still. Our bodies, see the way that God has set it, set it up, our bodies want to have the proper nutrients inside of it. But if you go eat McDonald's and there's no nutrients in that, then what happens is your body a half hour later still wants what? It wants more food, why? Because it didn't get the nutrients it needs. It, it's not sufficient, right? So it has to be sufficient, has to have the right nutrients with it. And that's part of the process that starts to happen if you start to get uh, major toxicities. You're being lied to. I just talked about this. Why do you think you're being lied to? Why are we exposed to chemicals? Why are, why are these chemicals being put and marked as safe? Come on. You guys just saw in the last three years, they said the vaccines were safe, right? This is when I get taken off of YouTube and, and Facebook and everything like that. So, um, so they, but they told you guys this, right? That's why being in person in my class is so much better because you, you don't, you don't, you get to see the whole thing instead of me taking down halfway through it. Okay. Um, but they said it was, said it was safe. Well, why do they say the stuff is safe? They said the childhood vaccines are safe. Why do they say it's safe? There's only a little bit of mercury in it, right? You also heard this. Oh, there's only a little bit of mercury in it. It's not enough. Oh, there's only a little bit of formaldehyde in it, which is, you guys know what formaldehyde is, right? There's embalming fluid, right? Oh, there's, there's, there's only a little bit of radiator fluid. Ethylene, ethylene glycol is radiator fluid. There's only a little bit in it. But how do they get away with this? Because if they have... If they have the lobbyist on their side, they can push things through and they can put the stuff in your body and they can, they, can, they can mark it as safe. This is safe for you, okay? So you have to be aware of these things. And I'm gonna teach you guys this. Uh, the EAPA has done biopsy studies on chemicals stored in the fat of human beings. And they've said that 100% of people have dioxins, PCBs, uh, DCBs, uh, xylene. These things are toxic, cancerous t uh, uh, chemicals that are in the body. 100% of people have these things inside your body. There, there's no avoiding it, okay? I'm telling you guys this all for a reason, okay? Are we having any kind of hormone issues among our, amongst our population? 800 commonly used substances are known as endocrine, endocrine disruptors. Do you guys know what endocrine disruptors, disruptors are? I can barely say it. <laughs> What's endocrine disruptors? What are they? Do you guys know what, any examples of that? This endocrine system is your hormones, hormones. right? Hormones. Yeah. Hormones not to, be able to, work right. to work how they're supposed to, to right? Yeah. So we have a lot of infertility. We have a lot of thyroid issues, right? We have a lot of depression, a lot of anxiety. These are, these are endocrine disruptors. And so some of the things that you knew, like when 20 years ago, when we, uh, 19 years ago, when we had our first kid, uh, we thought soy was a good product. But then you found out very quickly that soy is not good because it has, it's a pseudoestrogen meaning that it has, it has chemical bonds that are similar to estrogen and which will fight for the, bi uh, the bindings, okay? The binders, it'll fight for it. And that's what these endocrine disruptors actually do is that they're toxins that disrupt the hormone function. So think of it like a, um, like a, a key and, a, and, a, and, a, and an ignition or a key and a door, right? The key goes in there. There's supposed to be one key that fits it, but what these endocrine disruptors are is they mimic it enough that they'll actually take up the spot of the natural hormone that's supposed to go in these areas to start to set the body off in the right pathway. So you start to disrupt cortisol, you start to uh, disrupt insulin, you start to disrupt um, testosterone, you start to disrupt estrogen. When you start to disrupt all these things, then you have people that have weight loss resistance, meaning that no matter what they do, they can't lose weight. Um, no matter what they do, they, they do, they just can't, they can't seem to shake stress or the stress hormones, they, can, they just can't get it right. And they're doing everything right that you possibly think you can, but you just can't because the bodies. And, and think about this. Do we have more cancers now than we did 10 years ago, than we did 20 years ago? And that's because we're, we have 800 known endocrine disruptors on us. Toxic exposures linked to this. Weakened immune system, allergies, asthma, diabetes, 
cardiovascular autism, ADD, birth defects, ADD, ADHD, cancer, hormone imbalance, reproductive disorders, Alzheimer's, dementia, autoimmune disease, neurological disorders, anxiety, depression, mental health issues. These are all things that we're seeing off the charts these days. And so the reality in this, and, and you guys have, those of you that have been to classes before, you understand something, is that if your body, I love using this continuum, if this wall represents 100% function and this wall represents 0% function, you're either moving this way or you're moving this way. You're never standing still. The only time you're standing still is when you're at 0% and when you're at 0%, you're what? Dead. You're dead, okay? So just, just remember that, okay? So, but here's the thing. As you lose function, as your body starts to lose function, if your body's at 90% function or 80% function, symptoms do not show up until you hit about 60% function. So you could have all these disruptors, all these toxins, all these chemicals, lessened uh, nerve function, and as your body starts to lose function, you have sickness and disease inside your body and have no clue that it's going on and symptoms don't show up until it's really late, right? When, you get, when somebody gets cancer, you know, 100 people developing cancer, do they find out when it's early or when it's really late? Usually when it's so late in the process, right? Even though that cancer has been developing over the course of a period of time. So again, those of you that you guys, if you guys have symptoms already, that means you're, you're already this far, you're over here. If you don't have symptoms, be thankful you don't have symptoms because talk to somebody that has symptoms and they're going to tell you don't ever have to go get symptoms. But what people do and what we've been taught, what we've been brainwashed is, oh, you don't have symptoms, you're fine. Right? Oh, you're fine. Oh, yeah, you don't have symptoms, you're fine. You don't have symptoms? Great. Awesome. Good for you. Just wait. That's a backward system. So we try to get everybody making sure that you guys go on the right pathway so your body can start to heal. Top six toxic things that you have for hot spots. Personal care products, household cleaners and products, plastics, processed foods and GMOs, pills, and air and water. These are your six areas that are hot spots. We're going to dive into this a little bit here and I'll give you guys some resources you guys can kind of take down that pathway. Um, five steps to terminating toxins. Here's your five. Number one is cut out processed foods, okay? That's number one. Number two, check your home for chemicals. Now, I'm not gonna tell you guys, if, if, we, if we went to ewg.org and looked at all the toxic chemicals and we went to your house, your house would probably be empty. So in my house, even though we've worked on this for the last 20 years, we would still have, you'd still find toxic chemicals in our house somewhere, somewhere. That's how hard it is to get rid of all this stuff. But we're constantly trying to eliminate things along the way that we possibly can. So number three, stress. Stressing less is stressful. <laughs> Wait, stressing less is stressful. I don't know who wrote that. I didn't write that. It just doesn't make sense to me though. But that's true. Stressing less is stressful. stressful. That needs to be written. <laughs> Sweat more. And then of course, keep your spine aligned. I'm going to talk to you guys about all those things. Okay. All right. Number one, cut out processed foods. Processed foods are, they have so many toxic chemicals in it. Over 10,000 chemicals are allowed in your food. Think about that. 10,000 chemicals are allowed in your food. Not even just, like you can go to Whole Foods and there's toxic chemicals. You can go to Earth Fair and there's toxic chemicals still in your food. Just because it's there and just because it says Whole Foods, just because it says Earth Fair means nothing. You've got to start to read the labels, right? There's, there's chemicals, there's, uh, um, there's dyes, there's colorings, there's food, there's sweeteners, there's uh, uh, MSG, you name it. it it's, it's in everything. So you have to be aware of these things is that your food can be toxic. And especially if they're, um, the rule of thumb is if you have to go, if you're picking up and, and shopping the middle of the grocery store, more than likely these, these have, are foods that are toxic inside of it. The outsides of the grocery store are typically the ones that have less, but you still have to be aware of that. Uh, Michaela, actually, I don't even know, we haven't done a grocery store tour in a long time, but, um, but I'm sure if you guys, a few of you guys wanted to go together with her, she'd probably love to take some of you guys shopping at some, some what's that? Yeah, so, and we'll fi find some good place. So most common toxic foods, fried foods, okay? Um, because of the, because of the uh, oils, the oils are just uh, so toxic, can't even tell you. They're rancid, they're not good for you, and it's just not supposed to be in your body. Uh, packaged foods, uh, because of the bad fats, the sugars, the additives, they destroyed the gut balance. Um, about last, actually last year, I was uh, driving down to Florida. I had been on this massive detox. I had lost like 45 pounds and I went to this camp that I teach and we have pretty healthy food, healthy options like baked chicken 
and salads and vegetables and all this kind of stuff. And I ate perfectly while I was down there. You, there is options that you could eat a little bit worse, but for the most part, you could eat healthy. And I still, on that, even though I was so such a stickler for what I was putting in my body at that time, I ate super healthy when I was down there. I gained seven pounds that weekend. And it's because of the bad fats, the food colorings, and all the uh, salts and the bad oils that they use to cook the stuff. And so you've got to just be aware of everything that's around you. Uh, gmo foods, anything that's outside of its normal, the way that God designed it, Artificial colors, not supposed to be there, but it's in everything as well. Artificial sweeteners, same thing. So you got, these are the most common toxic foods. One of the best ways to start to clean up your body is the advanced plan.